Hello, it's Franz Spohn again, and today we are going to construct animals. So I have a blueprint. You know, we're going to engineer this thing. Uh, it's three different views of a rhinoceros with uh, having a party with a bird on his back, egrets only. So I've got, as if you're looking straight on at the rhinoceros, the side view and a top view. And what I've found that it's really very interesting to kind of mix different angles up so that you aren't always doing it just from the obvious side view. And so I want to show you a couple of tricks or a couple of ideas that you can use in order to construct your own animals. So I just kind of sketched something out very similar to this where you have a side view, front view, top view, and it looks a little bit like a horse changing the legs a little bit. It could be a pig, it could be a dog, but these are kind of the basic uh, elements. You have a head, a body, and four appendages. They could be wings, they could be legs, they could be arms. And so I flipped over here again, and I, you can see I've been kind of sketching here. And I constructed the same type of thing, more like it's going to be in a box. And if you start off doing that that way, then you can start getting angles of, you know, do you want to look at it at what is called a three-quarter view? Do you want to look at it to the side? Do you want to look at it from up above? Because sometimes getting a, a different angle makes the drawings a little bit more interesting. Okay, so I thought what, what we'll do is just start off, let's just do a head. And then you can imagine how this could be attached to a body. But what I'm gonna do is just kind of draw a cube very lightly. And so then, you know, the trick again is like if you wanna find the center points of a shape, just draw the diagonals. And so this kind of tells me if I have a sphere, it's going to be kind of the touching there and there. So I'll just kind of put that sphere in there. And I'm going to use that as a basis for my drawing. Now I'm going to take some tracing paper, one of my favorite materials. And this way, you can experiment, try things out. If you don't like it, you can shove it up and you still have the basic uh, format there. So let's say that. Um, I don't know, I'm going to draw an animal that has kind of a snout, and I'm going to attach it, I'm going to attach it right here, because I know that that's kind of where it needs to go. And actually, if we do a cat, they have a slightly less sticking out part where their nose is. So I can put the nose right there. And then they've got that kind of nice little bit of their mouth that comes around. Now, for the eyes, I'm going to just kind of, again, on the tracing paper, I'm using this as a reference. So let's put the eyes about here and come around and follow it on there. Now, where to attach the ears? Well, you know, if I attach an ear here, I can kind of see where it would be back over here somewhere. So let's put a little cat ear there and let's put one here as well. Okay. And then they have that little kind of puffy part out in through here. So I'm doing everything reference to that sphere. Now they don't have quite a round head, so and they've got like a little bit of a brow. Come across here. They got those nice little eyes, maybe a couple little teeth. I have very fat cats because I think I feed them too much, so I'm going to keep them kind of round like that. Shade them in a little bit, and then you can start putting some fur, whatnot on it. Now, now, how does that fit on the body? All right, so we can do the same thing. If he's sitting up, we can kind of draw like, almost like he's sitting in a box, which they often like to do. And so then I can then fill the box. And again, I have a sense of like the cross sections will give me an idea where to attach little arms here. So I want to go across and put the one there. And they've got these little paws. Now, the tail. So I can't really see where the tail is attached unless I think of that body as maybe being transparent. So let's stay here. I'm going to do like a little oval and then oval, 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 oval. And then if I kind of combine where all those things, the ends of the ovals are, I get a nice fat, fat little kind of fluffy cat tail. And then I can work with the shape. If I want to make him a striped cat. All right, let's get these legs in. All right, they've got that kind of haunch 
that's here. So I'll want to put one across the way. Again, I'm always kind of sketching through, thinking about, all right, it's a rounded. All right, so then like that, and then the leg comes this way. I always have my, I love drawing animals much more than I do figures. So a lot of times, okay, so, all right, so we got that leg in there. And then I'm going to come across and do the same thing here. Put that leg in here. So he looks like a very well-fed cat. Now, if I wanted to do something from up above, looking down at the cat, then all right, maybe the view would be more like that. So his ears would be here, nose would be there. If his belly isn't too fat, you can see his little paws. So there's a view of overhead. So if you want to see what a bird is looking at up in a tree, knowing not to go down too close to where the cat is, then you have that as well. So you can really engineer your drawings around the different angles. And once you get this done, again, this is on tracing paper. If you don't like what you did, put another piece of tracing paper on top of it, correct it, or start over. But eventually, once you get a feeling for the way this is all done, then you can start drawing animals without any guide at all. You could just go ahead and work very intuitively and very quickly. And so we will see you again after we've fed the animals. I'm hungry. Give me something to eat. <laughs> <laughs>